Hey Carp Geeks, welcome back to the basement. Hopefully you saw part one of my uh, fish tank setup. If you didn't, uh, you know, <laughs> take a look up there. Uh, but this week, kind of interesting, well this week, it's actually been three weeks since my last video because I've been leaving my media, my bio media to soak in an established fish tank, which has hopefully allowed those porous little sponges uh, to colonize with bacteria, which will help me kind of get the tank started. All right, so today I'm actually going to get the gravel in there. I'm going to put the water in there and I'll kind of split this actual video into two parts. I'll finish with uh, actually filling the tank up today. Okay, and then I'll let it run overnight. I'll put some water conditioner in there, test uh, all the levels, maybe in the morning tomorrow, which will be the second part of this. And uh, hopefully at that point, get the canister established and started. And at that point, lights, <laughs> camera action. We'll put the fish in there and finish off the tank. All right, without further ado, let's get some gravel in there. All right, so <laughs> I talked about the gravel last time and I bought a couple of bags of uh, cheap stuff from the building supply yard. Turns out one type of gravel is kind of super dark. Let me show you that one. Hopefully you can hold that up and you can maybe see it. There it is, right? Okay, so that dark gravel is super dark. And that one is super light. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the dark gravel in first because when I do my video I'm going to have some very low light so I'd like the bottom to be kind of reflecting as much light as possible. So let's get the uh, dark stuff in first <laughs> followed by the light stuff. Alright, let's go. Okay, one. Oh. Try and disperse it kind of evenly. Three nice piles of gravel. Alright, so pretty happy with how that turned out. Nice even distribution of gravel through the tank. Okay, very nice. All right, so final part of part one, if you wish, is to put some water in there. Now, I'm not going to fill the entire tank up to the top right away, okay? I'm going to put in probably three or four inches of water and then look at the level just to make sure it's completely kind of even, right? The last thing I want is to have some kind of little rock or something under the, under the tank stand and have the water level kind of crooked in the tank. That will be silly, okay? Now, interestingly, <laughs> Quick fix, so I'm in my basement, right? There is no water supply down here. Well, there wasn't until recently. And what I did, I can see it up here. What I actually did, I had a plumber come in and just tap to the main water line. Just ran a tap over here. So it's just like a garden hose I've attached. <clears throat> and all I'm gonna do is just turn this thing on, get some water in here. Woohoo! Water. All right. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a minute when it's got some water in it. All right. So that's just a few inches. Let's take a look. 
All right, so as you can see, that level is pretty flat. So I'm happy with that. I'm just going to continue filling the tank until it's obviously full. Okay, let's get on with that. So top tip, I'm actually going to put one of my decorative pots actually in the tank and empty the water coming out real fast into it. Then it will spill over slowly and then seep into the gravel. What I don't want to do is like blast the gravel around and make more kind of like cloudiness because it's not perfectly clean. This is like an old trick that people do. Okay, so I'll get that started, take a look at it in action. All right, looks pretty cool, even though I do say so myself. <laughs> Okay, so we'll let that go until it's full. All right, pretty much there. Turn the tap off. Now, obviously you can see the tank there. It's pretty cloudy. We've kicked up a lot of dirt from the gravel, which wasn't perfectly uh, <laughs> rinsed, obviously. So what I'm going to do next is I'll uh, get the uh, under gravel filter running and then I'll add some tap water conditioner. So stay tuned for that. Hey Cup Geeks. Well, I let the uh, tank run overnight. And as you can see, it's pretty clear. So I'm pretty happy about that. What you didn't see me do was add the tap water conditioner. Show you that real quick. So, real quick, followed the instructions. Good to go. We now have dechlorinated water. If you think about it, you shouldn't put tap water in a fish tank because it contains chlorine. Chlorine is there to kill bacteria. We want to establish bacteria colonies. So uh, that had to go in first. Okay, so let it run overnight. This tank water is now conditioned. All right. Now, phase two. <laughs> Just got back from the uh, pet store and we have this one, which is, if you can read that, biological booster so it contains a bunch of beneficial bacteria which will initiate the nitrogen cycle in other words make sure my tanks healthy and you know we don't get like waste products essentially kill the fish all right so it does say five milliliters per 10 gallons got 125 so that is a lot. <laughs> so I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna put 50 milliliters in to start. Okay. Luckily, it's all the trade. I have a graduated cylinder. Okay. So just a reminder. So five mils per 10 gallons. So that's 50 mils for 100 gallons. Let's get that to start. Oh, that does look uh, very, very organic. <laughs> all right. So in it goes. So that's enough for a hundred gallons. It's a 125, so 25 more. There we go. Okay, gonna let it run through for an hour. I'll be back in an hour. And when I come back, we'll set up the canister filter okay so I want to get that um, starter culture that bacteria actually all the way through the water and then actually use some of this water of course to prime the filter which has biological media in it which can't be exposed of course to tap water all right so we'll load the filter show you that fill it with some water from the tank get the filter going and then we're there right so we've got our tank set up what I'll do at that point is I'll let it settle for maybe an hour or two, add a couple of decorations, add the lights, and then put our two fish in. All right, see you soon. All right, so I'm gonna install the canister filter and here it is, okay? So this is my Fluval FX4. If you've never seen one before, it's kind of interesting. Okay, so you open the lid and inside, there are basically two removable inserts, okay? And in those inserts, I'm gonna place my previously soaked, if you wish, or conditioned biomedia. 
All right. So let's uh, take a quick look at that from a close up. Okay, so I quickly reassembled it just to remind you what's inside. So we've got these two kind of trays, okay, which of course water passes vertically through, okay. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take my insert, make a little kind of base in there. That's a carbon filter. So the, the water actually goes from top to bottom in these filters. So that's the last thing it goes through is like a, a polishing carbon filter. Okay. On top of that, I'll put my most fine pour media. Okay. So that's kind of the last thing the water will go through before it goes into the tank. Okay. Put that in. Okay, nicely seated. Okay, next one. Similar kind of thing. All right, similar kind of thing. This one, I use a slightly coarser, slightly coarser foam because that will get out any larger particles. Okay, and on top of that, I'll put my slightly larger media. Okay. Good news about that. When I put it in there, there is room. For one more final pad there it is okay so that's the canister packed now <laughs> what I did and off screen I've got it right here I got a oh, large bucket of water from the tank okay so I've got to top this up with this water that'll prime it okay so let's do that right now so I'm just gonna pour the water in over the media keep an eye on it Get it right near the top. Now, when I turn this on, it won't start to pump unless it's primed. Okay. So when it goes, well, it takes quite a lot of water. Oh, trays are starting to float. That's a good sign. Okay, <laughs> nearly there. Oh, all right, just about perfect. Okay. So. Hopefully you can see that. Now around the uh, central column there is, as you can see, some uh, again some coarser foam which is a mechanical filter. So how it works, I'm going to put the lid back on to show you. Okay, so I'm going to tighten these loosely first. Get that seal. So it's a bit like tightening nuts on your car rim, right? Your car wheel, all right? Opposite, kind of like similar tightness. Then go around again. There you go. Yeah, that's pretty, all pretty much feeling the same. Okay, as you can see, Here's the inspout, okay, so this comes obviously in from the tank, and the water actually is pulled, I don't know if you notice that the down pipe, it's actually pulled to the bottom where it enters and then goes up around the outside and it enters back through the middle, so it actually filters out again through the bottom here, okay. So <laughs> the water comes around the outside, down the middle, then out this hole. So it actually uh, goes through that carbon filter last, which is what I want. Okay, I'll install this. Get it going. All right, so here it is in position. Okay, so on the left side there we have the in, and on the outside obviously the out. I'm now going to connect it. It will take a while to charge up and get rid of air inside, but within a couple of minutes we should have a functioning filter. I'll uh, show you the, uh, the inlet and outlet in the uh, tank in a moment too. So on the right side of the tank, that's the output. On the inside of the left side of the tank, that's the input. Uh, while we're here, I'll give you a quick tour. So all the uh, lifters are pushing water to my right which creates a if you like a loop of current which actually takes the uh, 
all the debris back to the intake then it goes back into the big filter underneath so yeah hopefully we'll see how this tank works out get back to you guys in a little bit all right that as they say is the finished article all right now i did purposely as most aquarius do buy myself a master test kit okay and that means i can uh, test the ammonia the ph the nitrate and the nitrate periodically and important for our, you know a new tank setup you've got to test the ammonia all right so we're establishing that nitrogen cycle so uh i'll come up to the uh camera so center column is ammonia looks like hmm between zero and 0 0.25 parts per million obviously what i expected it's a new tank no fish yet perfectly clean so no ammonia today okay the day the fish go in talking of fish going in let's take another quick look at the tank so as you can see i've actually got a light and i've got a center kind of uh, clay pot two kind of plastic kind of pipe connectors and then kind of a just a kind of a plastic tube okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to put two um american yellow bullheads in here okay <laughs> they're uh, imaginatively named sting and Casador. if you understand the Casador reference put something in the comments all right so they were actually captured by my son in the backyard pond here all right so i'll put those in in a minute and i'm going to check the ammonia every day for two weeks at least right because they'll start to generate waste that waste will be hopefully turned into nitrite and then nitrate by the bacteria and the sponges and the filters etc okay but i've got to keep an eye on it i don't want to kind of risk losing those fish all right so remember that media was sitting in their tanks for three weeks it's colonized okay it's now in here okay and with such a large volume and such a small load really i've got an fx4 filter 125 gallon tank i'm pretty confident that those two catfish will clearly survive and if you know anything about bullhead catfish they are titanium fish okay so it's not uh you know it's a very 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 good chance they'll uh, survive and i'll keep an eye on them okay and then once they've uh, you know survived the week or two weeks then it's time to put some koi in there and begin experimentation all right let's get some fish in all right so sting and casador are in residence okay come back uh tomorrow and throughout the week to test the uh, the levels of the various chemicals but there they are everyone good okay so we'll continue with part three next which will be setting up the tank for studies okay see you guys next time